Good morning, my name is Keija Woodard and I'm a junior in a college majoring in anthropology and human biology. Um, today I will discuss rosemary. Um, the, its scientific name is Rosemarinus officinalis. Um, it is found in the Lamiaceae family. Um, a quick overview. Um, in this presentation, I will discuss um, what rosemary looks like, some of its traditional uses, um, biological activity, clinical studies, and some contraindications. Okay. Rosemary um, can be identified by its dark, evergreen, needle-like leaves. Um, it also sometimes sprouts flowers, which are found to be small blue, violet, or white. <coughs> um, it has a minty odor, which is common in the Lamiaceae family. Um, it can grow in the wild up to six feet. Um, it, is also, it grows best in warm environments. Um, it is found or originates in the Mediterranean, where um, it is also considered the dew of the sea because it grows in their seashore. It is traditionally used in Mediterranean cuisines. It is also a rheumatic pain reliever. Um, in Mexico, it is made um, by, through maceration where it is basically soaked in an aqueous solution or in ethanol and it can be applied externally directly to the skin. Um, it is also a general, general stimulant and um, it is used for skin care, cold relief, and memory. Um, the memory is a European myth, also, although it has recently been tested. And um, Shakespeare mentions it both in um, Romeo and Juliet and in Hamlet. And a quote right here, um, it's from Hamlet. <coughs> although rosemary have many constituents, um, the main ones scientists look at are caffeic acid and rosemarinic acid. Um, caffeic acid is a naturally occurring compound found in several plants and it may contribute to the prevention of cardiovascular diseases. Rosemarinic acid is an ester of caffeic acid and 3,4-dihydroxyphenolic acid, um, which can be found here. Um, it gets one phenolic ring from the caffeic acid and one phenolic ring from the other acid. Um, and this compound can be found common in the Beraginaceae family, and it is um, unique to the Lamiaceae family only in rosemary. Um, in rosemary, rosemarinic acid acts as a defense compound. It can be absorbed through the membranes, um, such as the GI tract, and the skin. Um, because of this, it can relax the bronchial and intestinal smooth muscles, which is why it can also be used um, for bronchitis or asthma. Um, it increases PGE2, which is prostaglandin E2, and reduces the production of leukotriene B4, which is a fatty signal molecule. Um, PGE2 softens the surface and causes the uterine to tract. However, if activated early, it can be used as an abortifacient. Um, um, it is also um, anti-carcinogenic because it prevents the formation of the carcinogen DNA adduct. Um, it has many biological activities, such as being anti-carcinogenic, um, antioxidant, and micro, antimicrobial. Um, an in vitro study showed that rosemary has a moderate effect on gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria. Um, and this is because its essential oils were found to zip it, to inhibit um, the cell membrane, where it breaks it and destroys the the membrane. Um, biological activity. In vivo study shows that it was hep hepatoprotective. <laughs> um, and this was due to um, an in vitro, an in vivo study where mice were injected um, for seven days with rosemary before being um, poisoned with tetrachloride. And um, the experimental group 
um, after being looked at for seven, after the seven days, after being injected with rosemary, sorry, after the seven days that they were injected with rosemary, they were injected with the poison, and after they were looked at with the poison, um, the group, the experimental group, <clears throat> were found to show less um, GI, uh, had less problems in the GI tract than the control group, which were only given the poison. Um, and also reduced morphine withdrawal syndrome in mice. Um, mice were induced with uh, morphine for three days, and on the fourth day, they they were shown to have um, to twitch and to jump. And um, those that were given rosemary after the morphine <clears throat> were um, shown to have less jumping effects. This was tested because they, they checked them for 30 minutes and every 30 minute interval, those that were treated with rosemary were shown to have less jumps than those that were in the control that were not treated with rosemary but were also given the poison. A clinical study um, was done in humans where um, they were placed in rooms and given um, exams or tests. And in these rooms, um, there were lavender in one room where the essential oil was given off, and the other room, um, rosemary essential oils were given off. And five um, things, were, five factors were tested: the quality of memory, secondary memory, working memory, speed of attention, and speed of memory. And in this um, study, the quality of memory, secondary memory, and working memory were all shown to increase, while the speed of attention was shown to be very similar to that of the control group that were placed in a room without either of the essential oils given off. And um, the negative effect was that the speed of memory was also increased, which showed that it takes more time for that group to react and respond to questions than the control group and the group that were surrounded with the essential oils of lavender. And this may be due to the soothing effect that rosemary has. Um, some contraindications. Um, although it is generally regarded as safe, um, pregnant women should be aware because in a study it was shown that mice that were pregnant sometimes um, had a abortifacient effect. Um, it, but in that group, they were given large quantities of rosemary extracts, <laughs> and it is possible that it could happen in humans, but it would have to be an extremely large amount for this to happen. However, more studies should be done to prove whether or not that is the case. Um, also, combining with blood thinners um, can be harmful, and um, breastfeeding women should be aware. There aren't any studies showing that it is harmful to them, however, because it can be harmful to pregnant women. Um, it should be looked at. Um, current allopathic and cam therapies. Um, it is still a large component of Mediterranean dishes and cuisines, um, not only for its nutritious factors, but also um, for medicinal purposes. Um, you can also find it in supplements via powders and pills, and it is found in creams and lotions, also used in massage therapy, and it can be found in shampoos and soaps. Conclusion, um, this plant is generally regarded as safe, and it has many health benefits, including anti-inflammatory, antioxidant effects. Thank you.